Hey guys, today we are going to make a zombie pigman from Minecraft. So today we are going to use neon green elastics, per, uh, pink elastics, black, and white. So to start off, we are going to use pink for the head. So we will put two pink rubber bands at the top section. Another two. And another. And then a double green. Now we'll move on to the center section of the loom. So we'll take two green, place it top of your loom another two green then we'll use a pink two pinks and we'll use another green Now we'll go to the left section. So remember, the arrow is pointing towards you. And we're going top to bottom, because most videos you'd be going bottom to top, so this one, we're going top to bottom. So we'll take some green, the top left, some white, Then some more green and one more green. Okay, that is the head section. Now we are going to be doing the body section. So we'll use some more green, some white. Green, and then another white, that's what it looks, should look like up to now. So we're doing this four times, so one, two, three, and four. So we'll just do that in the center. Two greens. Another two greens. Another two. And then we're going to switch up a bit and we'll use two pinks now. And we'll go to the right section. So we'll use some pink. We'll use pink all the way to the bottom. four times okay now we're gonna do the leg section so we'll use black for the cloak thingy Black. Then we're going to use some white. And some green. Remember, we're still using double bands. And we'll switch up and use some pink. And we'll 
use some more green. Then we'll use two whites. And then again, we'll switch to pink. And we're basically just going to do this for the whole leg section. So use some more green. More green. That's how it should look like at the moment. So we got head section, the leg section, and the body section right here. Okay. Now I can start placing the horizontal bands. So we'll use some white for the first one. So we'll take two whites and place right here. Well, actually, why don't we use some greens? I think that'll look a little bit better. So I'll put some gr two greens at the top. So it should look like a little triangle. Use some more green. Now I think we could use some white. There. Some more green. We are using two bands. We're not using a single and doubling it, so we're just going to use two bands. Stretch it out a bit. Put it down. So we should be getting these little triangles all the way down to the bottom. So little triangles. Let's use some pink now for the body section. So what I'm trying to do is mix up some of the colors so it'll look like a zombie pigment because they're they got white, they got pink, they got green. So I'm just gonna mix them up. So use double bands. Oh, gotta switch to black. Some black bands there. We'll use now we can use some pink. We'll use some more green. And then for the bottom, last but not least, we'll use some pink. So now we got to make the arms for the zombie pigment. So what we what we'll do is we'll take our hook. We'll take one pink rubber band, loop it twice, so or once, so you'll see two rings, then take two pinks, and slide those bands on. I'm having a little bit of difficulty putting these bands on. There. So we'll just slide our ring on or attach it. Okay, hold on, we're having a lot of difficulties. There. Now it should work, so we'll just slide that on. And then it should look like this. And we can add on as long as you want. I'm going to do this seven times so we get a nice arm. So I'll be using green now. And like before with the rings, we'll slide it on. And the thing right back on. And slide that right on there. Thank you. 
two more times. I think you can swap to pink. Put it on your fingers. Hook it to the loom. And slide it right on. There we go. We'll use some more green, and this will be our last one. There. And we'll just slide that on. And. There we go. There's our second arm for our zombie pigman. And we'll attach it to the opposite side we attached that arm on. So I'll just slide that on that pig. And there you have it. Our, this is how it should look like. So we'll have little triangles going all the way down. Two arms sticking out and multicolors. So we'll have white, green, black, and pink. So now we're tra starting to loop now. So what, you can take the bottom and hook it to the top to itself. So you got that neat configuration. And now we'll go to the bottom right. We'll reach under that horizontal band, grab the bottom too, and hook it to the top. And we'll do the same with that next one. Bottom two, hook it to itself. Bottom two, do itself. We're going to do that step all the way to the top. So that's what it should look like. It's just a line of teardrops going all the way to the top. Now we'll come right down back and we'll do the middle section. So grab the bottom, bring it to the top. This section should be a lot easier. two rows of teardrops. Now I'll come right back down to back here on the bottom right. Reach under those horizontal bands. Hold on to that horizontal band. Grab the bottom two and hook it to itself so you should have this neat configuration of rubber bands here. Go to the bottom. Bottom two, hook it to itself. And there you have it, three rows of teardrops. So you might want to pause your video and compare it to your project on your loom. So now it's time to put the security bands. So we'll put our loom through the top left. Take a green, single green rubber band, put it on. Oops. Take it on your loom and bring it through all those rubber bands. And put it on the loom like that. And grab the back rubber band and bring it forward to the thing. Pull it out like that. So you should have, looks like one little rubber band sticking out of the top. So, stick our loom through there. And we'll just 
out. Bottom hook. Grab the back. Put it to the front. There you have it. So it should look exactly like that. And now it's time to take the project off. And then after that, we'll put the eyes on. Your zombie pigman. Now I have to attach the eyes. Three, two. Okay. So stick your hook through and put one single black rubber band and pull it through pig zombie's head. And then with this white rubber band here, stick your hook through a different hole. And then put the other, the back end of that elastic on. And twist it a bit. And then pull it through a bit. So, oh, grabbed a, a rubber band there. It's not good. Let the other one go. There you be. Just loop that again, like on the top. Pull it a bit and pop it out a bit. So it should be like that. There's one eye. Then we'll do that again. So we'll put our hook through just like up the other time. Single black elastic. Put it on. Pull it through. Again, we trapped another elastic. So we'll just pull that one out there. And then through another hole, poke it through. And then pull it down a bit. And smaller one. Grab it through. There. And put your hook through those two. And then grab the back, put it in front, tighten it, and then pop it out a bit. There you have it, a zombie pigment.